What the? F That's unreal. We are in a Porsche Taycan right now. Don't ask whose it is or where it's from. All that matters is that we're towing it. It's a base model 2021 Taycan, rear wheel drive, 402 horsepower, 4,600 pounds. The entire dash is a screen. There's a screen here, there's a screen here. So there's an option to get a screen here. Personally, I think it looks a lot more aesthetically pleasing than just the giant tablet that you get in like a Model S or any other Tesla. Is this guy drunk? Yeah, that guy's definitely he's like, on oh, something. He's not in the state of the Yeah, let's uh, watch out <laughs> for this guy. Luckily, this car has amazing brakes. You turn the regen off, right? Yeah, I turn the regen off for better, like, just drivability in terms of, like, sports driving. Yeah. And the crazy thing is, <coughs> Sego showed me earlier, this button right here, it's a touch button for the yeah, adaptive so, dampers. So this pretty much is, like, super comfortable now, absorbs speed bumps, and then you put it in Sports Plus, and it's, like, it handles really fine. It's It's literally a night and day difference. Like, I've driven a lot of cars with adaptive dampers, and... Not gonna lie, like, with only 30 minutes behind the wheel usually, I'm just like, is this doing anything? But the moment he touched that button, I was like, holy crap, it's like way softer now. In the firm mode, it was still, it still felt good. Like the dampening is really, really good. All right, <clears throat> let's take a quick little tour of this interior here. Ooh, what is high voltage system? So mean? it's just reminding you the car's still on. And oh, like if you okay. put it in drive it'll move, but to turn it off you have to hold the power button. Yeah, so there's a power button. I'm assuming I can see Over that. Here. The gear selector yeah. is that. So you push it down with the brakes on or your foot on the brake, it'll go into drive. There's neutral and then reverse. Uh, here's the reverse camera. It's pretty annoying because it's thing's like, distorted. Yeah, it's like super distorted and hard to use. Yeah. One complaint. But it has the, the bird's eye view, which yeah, is that's really pretty nice. nice. This is the same shifter you get in the 992 Carreras now, except they mount it obviously here in those cars. Oh, by the way, three <laughs> N7 product placement, best bulb in the Bay Area. So this one <clears throat> is pretty cool. This is the air conditioning. Like you can control each vent. Like it, so instead of manually toggling oh, the, like the, the, the yeah it doesn't even have that you have to use this that like, is wild yeah it's kind of over like that is such over engineering like imagine like you're driving and you just want to adjust it and you have to like click and drag on a touch screen i don't it's cool but like why yeah. like that was never a problem that needed to be solved and then it even has like ionizer for air purification which i don't even know what that's for that's... but that's pretty crazy sure Maybe can't it's, hurt it's good for covid <laughs> <laughs> so all these drive well, here we modes. go so there's sport mode normal mode range and range i, I tried it earlier the car is like super slow. super slow yeah. it's like just for maximum battery range uh normal like the throttle response isn't as touchy as sport okay but that's like the only difference i noticed is the chassis so this is what this button over here does so really just this the suspension yeah so you can go sport plus for the suspension so just normal stiff and stiffer mm -hmm. <laughs> uh this is the region. region brake so i turned it off just so it's easier or nicer to drive at yeah, least. yeah but if you're on the freeway i guess you could use the gas and just lift off and it'll break Char for you charge the battery yeah right? it's like probably minimal yeah <clears throat> and then you could turn the like the wee the the, the fake gas or fake, Ooh, fake let's sound. leave that on i like all that. right <laughs> the jetsons whoa it, yeah I, can whoa, hear it. I just heard it yeah it sounds like a fake engine cool or a fake motor i guess it has like those like lane assist and like all that here too like yeah if all someone the stops assist. in front of you i think it'll like break for you one thing i noticed is I, when i sat in the driver's seat earlier the seat gets really low. Yeah, you can make it like like bucket seat low. Like it's literally like you could barely see above. The yeah, car. yeah. Like in almost every car <laughs> I get into, I have to max low the seat. But in this one, it's actually too low for me. I really like this like curved screen. Yeah, it's very easy to read. Everything yeah. like the contrast, the black and the yeah, white, so very I think nice. When you use GPS, this thing has like a SIM card in the car, like most oh, new cool. cars. So. You just put in the GPS and then it shows up here as well. Okay. And then this button here, you can, it's uh, you can, you can map it to a shortcut of your choice. Oh, okay. So that's 
cool of them. It's nice to have. Back seat actually has a middle seat. That was nice yeah, to it's see pretty that. comfy. They look like bucket seats on the side. Yeah, I haven't really sat back there. All right, let's start driving it. Fake engine sound on. Jesus! What the? This is a base Taycan? Yeah. <laughs> How does it handle the bump so well? 4,600 pound car. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it at all. Dude, I was not expecting that. The 0 to 60 is only like, like low to mid 5 seconds. Yeah. Yeah. On paper, but it feels fast. But that torque, and the instant torque is what makes it feel so fast. Christ. Oh, those are some G forces. <laughs> what the? F That's unreal. Yeah, you can still feel the weight. Is that forward right now? Yeah, this is. Forward. Okay, so it's. It's not that fast on the straights. Once once you get over that initial hit of electric torque, it's not that fast. But in the corners, wow. It does understeer a bit in the corner. <clears throat> These seats do a really good job of holding you in too. Yeah. How's the brake feel? The brakes feel really good for like an EV. Most EVs feel like sponges. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta say, I'm digging the Jetsons engine sounds. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Very futuristic, sci-fi. Like now it's like it just stops on a dime for such a heavy load. Oh my god! This thing is so fast in the corners. For heavy, for a four thousand, forty-seven hundred pound. These aren't even like super sticky tires. They're just stock whatever comes with the tires. Yeah. I mean, I heard the tires squealing earlier, but the limits are still pretty high. Oh god. <laughs> I think the strangest part about this experience so is that fine. it's making no sound other than the Jetson sound. I mean, which we could turn off. Yeah, which we could literally turn off. <laughs> what? <laughs> the driving aids aren't intrusive whatsoever. No, it feels very natural. Is there any feedback in the steering <clears throat> whatsoever? Probably uh, not, right? Not much, but it still it still feels good. It's precise, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. That's most modern <laughs> steering nowadays, electric racks. Yeah, I can't really feel the like the bumps in the road. It doesn't yeah. like jig, like shake yeah. the wheel. Out. We are eating through the battery right now. It said 130 miles about a quarter mile ago. Now it's 112 miles. Yeah, we were just eating. It was like, I swear it was like 150, right? When we started, yeah, it yeah. was 165. That's the thing about the Taycan is the range is definitely not as good as a comparable Tesla. But man, the interior quality is way better. I think it's way more interesting to look at. You have more stuff to play with. Not necessarily more stuff, but there's more places to play with stuff instead of just that one big um, tablet like you get in Tesla. Classic Porsche steering wheel, Porsche seats, like everything in here feels Porsche. Yep. Like if I just sat in this car blindfolded and then you just took off the blindfold, I would immediately think, oh, this is probably like a 911. I really like like the small airbag. Yeah. It's really nice. Three spoke wheel. Yeah, this is really nice. Like for a dual perp, like just a daily, this is super nice. Yeah. And it, it's sporty for sure. Like it's faster than my any like any car I've driven really up that up that hill. Up. It's yeah, you gotta wonder like if you were to try to keep up with this car in like uh your S two thousand or something. Like it, this probably will turn not as fast because of the weight, but like out of the corners, I'll get dust. And yeah. It's, it's totally fast enough. <laughs> yeah. I'd be shocked if a Tesla felt this this fast. I've never ridden in a Model S P100D or anything like, like that. I think those probably are faster in a straight line. But you'd probably
Well, you, you'd probably have to get aftermarket suspension for it to turn. Like this. Yeah, yeah. Like out of the box, no way those are that stiff. Is yeah. my assumption. Yeah, of course, the chassis tuning. I mean, they have all the expertise. Yeah. Tesla is like brand new. They're still relatively new in the in the, in the performance car space. The brakes just feel so good. Yeah, I can tell. Like even though I'm not driving, I can tell. Like when you hit the pedal, the thing just stops. Yeah, but there's the the feel is there too, which is like. I've driven like what Nissan Leaf, or i3, yeah, like the, like a Bolt, those type of cars, and it's usually it just feels like a sponge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and like the region is like over, over, over boost. Yeah. I was just saying, uh, you know, like the Lotus Amira got announced like last week or whatever, and I was all like, oh man, maybe I should um, sell my NSX and my uh, 911 to buy that, but now. I'm just like, man, Porsche knows what they're doing better than any other car company in terms of performance. Yeah, it was, it was, it was fun. <laughs> Pretty nuts. <laughs> Never driven it like that before. All right, well, that was just a quick little blast in a base Porsche Taycan. What do you guys think of the Taycan? Do you think it's worth 80 grand? All right, let's leave. All right, let's get out of here.